Hello there, all you beautiful thrill seekers. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to Ghost Chat YouTube channel. <laughs> Hello there, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. My name is Ghost Shadow Stubborn, but built for theme parks, and welcome to a theme park news from update where today we're going to be looking at the uh, sort of refurbishments and renovations that Wallaby Holland is scheduled to make for the 2022 season. Now this is all about renovating a specific area of the park like past years and Wallaby Holland have actually announced what kind of area they're going to be renovating but no real details specifically have come out as to what they could be renovating inside. There's a couple of details we're going to reveal in this video but not much at this stage. Now before we get started with all of this make sure you like the video if you love it, comment down below your thoughts, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. And for now, guys, let's have a look exactly what's going on with this brand new renovation project going in 2022 at Wallaby Holland. So, according to the article Loopings, that's the news source for this video. While amusement park fans are eagerly looking forward to the start of the 2021 season. Wallaby Holland is already working behind the scenes for the following year. Another renovation project is planned for 2022 and this was revealed by director Masha Van Til during an online meeting for the employees. In 2022, another themed area in the amusement park will be renovated, namely the Zero Zone. There you'll find the Lost Gravity Coaster, the Crazy River Watercourse, the Neurogen Virtual Reality Experience, the Draco's Children's Coaster, and the Tomahawk Frisbee and the Wallaby Express Train. Now, of course, that is a very large area, says Van Til, and the look and feel will be changed. It's going to be a really cool theme, even if we say so ourselves. This continues on the theme of lost gravity, where a strange phenomenon has ensured that gravity is lost. Until the arrival of the coaster in 2016, the area was called Wild Wild West. They already knew it was going to be 0-1 one day, says the director. Lost gravity has already been included in that theme. Now, Wallaby announced a major multi-year plan in 2018 called Festivalization, in which the areas in the park will be given a new theme one by one inspired by the style of various major cities and festivals. Since then, the Main Street in 2018, the Wilderness in 2019, and Speed Zone in 2020 have appeared. Now, of course, we know that Exotic is currently being renewed, with the attractions such as El Condor, while Water Ride El Rio Grande, and Hat Mill Los Sombreros, when the Zero Zone is already modernized, only the Wolby's Playlands Children's Area and the WAB Plaza Park section will remain from the original part layout. So no real specific details at this stage how they're going to renovate the area. However, it's definitely a very exciting project. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen, thrill seekers of all ages. That is talking about Wallaby Holland's renovation project for 2022. It's going to be the Zero One area where the Lost Gravity Coaster, the Draco Coaster, and I think it's going to deliver more of that gravity theme. We're going to see more of that Zero One kind of uh sort of intake shall we say um now i really do believe that this theme will be a really cool success for the part now whether that means keeping that theme because they didn't actually announce whether they were going to renovate it or not however it looks from the from the statements from the directors and from the people at the park it looks like they're going to keep the zero one theme and just renovate the rest of the area to include the lost gravity theme in the surrounding area um, which means probably a retheme of the kids coaster. We're probably going to expect a retheme of certain other attractions as well, and uh, certain theming additions as well. And I know that Wallaby Holland can do theming extremely well. You've got to look at the wilderness for landscaping and theming as a prime example, and other areas of the park as well. The speed zone, uh, the exotic area that's going to get renovated. Obviously the um, the, uh, the the main streets back in 2018 as well. So, you know, the prime examples of all these retheming works going on. And Wallaby Holland definitely have an inkling to um, go for this major theming renovation style and to add these major theming items and completely renovate this whole area in a way that, you know, we can hardly recognize the original area plan. So, I really can't wait to see what Wallaby Holland's going to do with this. I mean, talking about the sort of specific attractions, uh, if we're using the Zero One theme, obviously Draco's the children's coaster, I would like to see them maybe go for something like, um, sort of playing on the Lost Gravity theme, so maybe you're sitting in like a, 
like an inanimate object that's been, uh, inanimate, like you're sitting in cars that are themed to inanimate objects that have been lifted off the ground by no gravity, and you're sort of going along the air. So the so the chat represents the the air around us, and you're sort of flying around with no gravity at all. So I don't know. There's different ways you could do that. Obviously, there's different theming items that can include, like upside down lorries. There's you know canisters and barrels that they could put on sideward angles, and you know create a stack of barrels that are like on top of each other, like they're being torn apart by the sky. You know, there's really different methods that could go down. And Wall Behold definitely has a, a knack for 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 putting in incredible theming over the last few years. You know, especially since you know Wall Behold and Wall Be Belgium sort of stayed apart from the Six Flags brand. Uh, in the early 2000s, you know, ever since they left, if, ever since they left the the Six Flags Belgium and Six Flags Holland days, and they made, and they made the Wolby Belgium and Wolby Holland today, and you know, over the last few years, they've sort of stayed away from the Six Flags stuff more and more and more throughout the years since they've left, and they've really come into their own element as their own theme park brand a bit more, especially in the last few years, uh, with the amount of attractions they're opening. I mean, you've got to look at Wolby Belgium, for example, what they're doing with their brand new mega coaster for this year, Condar. Uh, the, the amount of detail and theming going in for that, and I've seen testing footage for that, so it's whizzing around the track at the minute uh, as we speak. But, you know, Condor in terms of a theming level, I mean, 16,000 plants and trees, uh, a beautifully themed station, the surrounding area is going to be all themed to like a, an ancient site, and it's just going to be brilliant to watch, it's going to be brilliant to see it open on opening day. And um, to see what the coaster looks like, obviously I won't personally be there unfortunately for the opening day because of COVID restrictions, but... Um, it would be lovely to experience the coaster one day because I know the amount of theme that's gone into that. Into Wallaby Holland, Untamed, RMC, Wilderness Area, the whole surrounding area first of all has had a complete fresh up uh, from the old Sherwood Forest style area that the old uh, Robin Hood coaster which was the, the conversion into Untamed. You know this was the original coaster, the Robin Hood wooden coaster. Um, and the Sherwood Forest area got completely transformed into this this wilderness section and creating the untamed atmosphere. So Wolby Holland and Wolby Belgium and the whole Wolby brand have stayed away from the Six Flag stuff a bit more and brought in their own brand of theming. And it's definitely on a worldwide scale, not just a European scale. So I've got plenty of confidence in renovating this particular area around the Lost Gravity roller coaster. So thank you very much guys for watching this theme park newsroom update. Make sure you go and like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss another YouTube video. We're getting closer and closer to 2,200 subscribers and also a million views overall. So please go and uh, support the channel in any way you can. Also, guys, make sure you go uh, over to uh, watch the old videos as well. Make sure you go to the description down below where you can not only find the link to this article yourself, but Twitter, TikTok, Instagram, and Snapchat. And also, guys, make sure you can follow the Discord server where you, yes, you, the Coast Shell fans can submit your uh, ideas on the Discord server as well as the Google Forms link. Again, links in the description down below where you can submit your video ideas. And uh, you can get involved with the channel a lot more using the Discord server as well. So thank you very much, guys. My name is Coast Shell. Keep living the Coast life. And I'll see you guys in the next video very, very soon. Take care, guys. Have a wallaby-tastic day.